Huh? How you doing? Who is that? It's Daniel. Daniel, my grandson. It's doing? good to see you, my little boy. Yeah. So what's new with you? Not much. Guess what I did today? I finished my level seven. I graduated. I'm so you're level seven. Like you did. You're a graduate. Yeah. That's good. That's very good. Very good. Skydiving is a beautiful thing. Oh yeah. See, this is the name of the game. This is what I've been trying to say for now 73 years I've been skydiving. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you're good. It doesn't matter if you got medals coming out of your wazoo. I don't care if you get, I'll be very proud of you if you get win medals like your grandpa. But what would be much more happy, a happy day for me is to see you get old mm -hmm. like your grandpa. Now by then I'll be long since dead but I'll look down on he from heaven, I'll see you. So make sure everything stays closed. Make sure that you're wearing goggles that are tight, that you're wearing a hard helmet. Mm -hmm. And have you bought yourself one of those beepers? Not yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm ordering Not them. yet, he says not yet. It's not yet. There is no tomorrow okay. with free flying. There is no tomorrow, there's today. I say two. Okay. It's got a battery. Right? And yeah. what happens to batteries? They run out. Yeah, they run out. Exactly. Yes, exactly. It's just a little battery. I know it's been many years since I was jumping, but I'll tell you, batteries still die. Altimeters, they're trustworthy, but you got to look at them. Yeah. Right? You don't look. It's, it's no good, right? It just sits there and it's a little white circle with a little thing. <laughs> Nothing. All right, so where do you wait? Do you have a chest mount? Yeah, yeah, it's a chest you mount. A chest mount? Yeah, you it's right there. All right. I think chest mounts are okay. I think wrist mounts are okay. If you know where it is and you look at it, mm -hmm. I'm okay with it. Mm -hmm. It's fine with me as long as you're looking. So I see that you've already got uh, the bungee, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I really like it. It's yeah, so, so why, why were you told that to, to, to get this? Uh, I was told by, you know, different people and they, you know, different reasons, like when you're doing the sit flying or it can, the leg straps can move or, you know, when you go from a inverted position to a flat position. <laughs> Let me tell down. you, yes, 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 yes. Let me tell you. I remember I was jumping with Tony Uragalo. Have you ever heard the name Tony yeah, Uragalo? He used to make suits or something, didn't he? Uh, Lovely Altacaca, lovely. <laughs> well, let me tell you, we were free flying. Back in those days, we had these wings with the front and the back, mm -hmm. right? And we'd sit, and we'd sit with these wings, and then we'd go back to our bellies to pull because right. we found out the hard way. Tony found out really the hard way. <laughs> if you pull sitting, forget about it. I mean, it's just, it opens like a ton of bricks. So, so I go back to my belly. I'm trying to arch. And I can't arch, because my leg straps are hooked around my knees, right? It slid all the way to my knees, and this is the problem. So if you have this, they won't slide to your knees. That's not a problem. So this is very important. I'm glad to see that you're thinking about these things. Definitely. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so what have you been taught about, uh, say, like exit, exit order? Uh, usually it's, you know, everyone's trying to get out and have a good spot, but you know, I think it's too, be going too fast, you know, um, yeah. but you know, no one really listens when everyone's yelling at you and stuff like that, so, yeah. you know, I usually put the free flyers out last from what I understand, you know, or maybe do, first. But do you have any idea of why? Not really. See, no. No, the kids today, they don't know why. Don't Nobody, really tells them. Us, yeah. Nobody tells them why. Red lights stop and, uh, you know, green light yeah. means go, that sort of thing. You know? Yeah, green, green light means go. Yeah. Well, you look down. Go, yeah. Yes, you don't rely on some pilot, right? He's not jumping. Is he jumping out of the yeah. airplane? He's not jumping out of the airplane. I say look down, okay. right? Take care of yourself. Take care of your friends. Look down before you jump out of the plane. Well, here's the reason. And we found this out the hard way. If you exit the airplane before a flat flyer, you're flying this way, right? In the plane, you're flying this way. And the flat flyer, he exits and he goes which way? He hits the prop last, he goes back towards the tail, right? He hits all this, this drag. He hits the surface area against the wind, poof, off he goes towards the back of the plane. You go off sit flying, you go off head down, mm -hmm. where do you go? you go? You go towards the nose, right? You shoot off towards the nose. Well, imagine you exit right before him. Poof. You go under him. It's... It's terrible, mm -hmm. right? You could end up with 
a person-sized hole in your parachute, right? This is terrible. So tell me, what else did you learn about free flying in your, uh, what, eight, seven jumps? <laughs> yeah, seven. Seven jumps. It's a goddamn um, world champion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not a lot, you know, it's been kind of hard finding information. I haven't done a lot of talking yet, but, you know. Uh, did you read my book? Uh, yeah, I flipped through it. I've you flipped, the middle flipped of through the yeah. book. His grandpa wrote it. He flipped through it. Um, Kids. I, uh, there's something about corking. I'm not sure exactly what it means, but I've, I've heard about, you know, it's not a Corking? Yeah. Corking? My God, corking. If I don't tell you about corking, God only knows. God only knows. How fast did I say you fall when you're free flying? Uh, I believe it was uh, 180 or so. Yeah, it could be. It could be. Now how fast do you fall when you flat fly again? I'm an old man, I forget. 200, yeah, 120 miles an hour. Well, if I was to fall under you, free fly under you, mm -hmm. go back to my belly, mm -hmm. and then suddenly I'm going, how fast? 120, right? right? 120. So what happens to me is it looks like I pulled. It looks like I opened my parachute. Mm -hmm. I stop dead, and you <laughs> fall into me. Okay. This is horrible. This is why, and if you forget everything I say, Remember this, in order to do relative work, right? Relative work, you understand, two people, yeah. three people, ten people, a hundred people. Back in my day, we used to do three hundred. All you need is one other person, okay. right? Mm -hmm. One person. Then you're flying relative. You, still, you throw ten into the mix, twelve free flyers zooming all over the place like a bunch of idiots. Then the potential is eventually you're going to crash into somebody. Eventually it's going to happen. It might not be your fault. It might be somebody else's fault. I would hate for this to happen to you. So if this was to happen, if someone's to go flat and quark up into you, how do you know that you're, that you're going to live through this? Mm -hmm. In my day, we had a device so accurate, so wonderful, it would save your life. Do you have something like this today? Uh, the Cypress? I the think? Cypress. They still call it the Cypress. <laughs> this tickles me. I'm an old man, you understand. Let me see. Do you, do, oh, show me the Cypress. Uh, where is it? You don't uh, even know uh, where your Cypress is, here. kids. Yeah. The rental gear had that. <laughs> okay. It's off. Mm -hmm. All right. So you turn this thing on. Okay. In the morning. Right. Every morning. If you're jumping, you turn it on. First thing, right? Uh-huh. If you forget, not, a mol not only am I going to give you a frashkin pishk, you know what it means, a frashkin pishk, mm -hmm. right? I give you a slap in the face. Not only that, but you're risking your life. Skydiving can be perfectly safe. And yet, you, I look back on my life as an old man now, and it's, it's sad to think of the number of people. If they push that little red button, if they'd only push the button, That's enough about that. All I'm saying is, push the button. Okay. Right? You understand? Okay. Well, this is pretty much what I wanted to get across to you. I don't mean to lecture. I've been teaching skydiving now forever, it seems. But there's a couple little things you can do that keeps you alive. And you start free flying. You start, we used to call it extreme flying. <laughs> Extreme flying. See, now it's normal, right? What is it? 75, 80% of the jumpers are mm -hmm. flying vertically. Well, I'll tell you, if you keep your eyes open, right? These little blue eyes, if you keep these eyes open, this is the key, right? Mm -hmm. If you're looking where you're going, if you're thinking about where you're going, if you're seeing stuff behind your head, right? Mm -hmm. This is what's going to make you an old man like me. Okay. All right? You promise me you'll do that? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right? Good. Good. All right, let's enjoy the sunset. Okay. What a wonderful, wonderful world this could be. What a wonderful, 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 wonderful world. Yeah, now look, look up at me and go, press that button. Press that button! Huh? Press it! Or I'll kick your ass. What a wonderful, wonderful world this could be.
this way.